St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. And greetings and welcome to this celebration of the Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Oakville, Ontario. And the Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of his wife and for their children, for their grandchildren. And may her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And we begin our celebration as we should begin all things in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We acknowledge that we are in the presence of God and in God's presence, we acknowledge the gratuitousness of his gifts. We acknowledge that God has invited us to be at one with God. He gives us salvation, he gives us grace, but oftentimes we say no. And so we acknowledge our sinfulness, we acknowledge our lack of gratitude, and ask forgiveness of God and of each other. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, and Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, and Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Lord, during this Lenten season, nourish us with your word of life and make us one in love and prayer. And grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Our reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, Israel, Give heed to the statutes and ordinances that I am teaching you to observe so that you may live to enter and occupy the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. See, just as the Lord my God has charged me, I now teach you statutes and ordinances for you to observe in the land that you are about to enter and occupy you must observe them diligently, for this will show your wisdom and discernment to the peoples who, when they hear all these statutes, will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and discerning people. For what other great nation has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is whenever we call to him? And what other great nation has statutes and ordinances as just as this entire law that I am setting before you today? But take care and watch yourselves closely, so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your mind all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And Jesus went up the mountain and he began to teach his disciples Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does, <clears throat> does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise. 